This video will talk about the potential fix for the orientation indicator in the DJI Fly apps that either display excessive inaccuracy or totally disable at all, and some explanation of the causes. Since my Huawei P10 doesn't give me any problem with the orientation since day one, I have to purposely create the problem and hope to find a fix for it. After days of experiments and tests, the solution or fix is actually quite straightforward for my phone and I hope it will also be the same to all other phone or users out there. I'm not sure if the method I'm going to show will also solve other Mavic series orientation especially the Mavic Air 2 that share the same fly apps as I only got my Mavic Mini to do the experiment with. But I'm sure part of the information in this video is somehow related. Because it probably involves magnetic field, which I have zero knowledge before this. I've done some research and I will try to balance up with what I know and to make this video as simple to understand as possible. Please feel free to comment below if I'm wrong or it doesn't help at all. So maybe I can figure out a way to solve it again. But please do like and also comment below if it helps to fix your orientation problem. Your support of subscription is highly appreciated to increase my motivation to create more content and I hope it really helps. I will be using Huawei P10 and Android version 9 for this video, but I'm sure other operating system will have that setting probably in a different name or setting location. Let's get started by a quick understanding of the orientation indication or icon. The bottom circle with a waveform or torch light looks alike is the mobile phone compass direction. It actually moves with your mobile phone, not with the remote control. When the phone is in horizontal or landscape, this will be the heading direction. The top arrow will be the aircraft compass heading direction. Most of the portable devices like mobile phone and tablets with or without a SIM card or in airplane mode, the built-in GPS will still function as it only requires satellite connection, similar to the aircraft. Compass only needs the earth magnetic field. Most mobile phone and tablets will have a magnetic sensor built-in to measure and give us a compass direction. Sorge from Wikipedia stated that the common surface magnetic field is about 25 to 65 microteslas. I usually got the reading of about average 50 50 microteslas using an app which I will talk about later. The magnetic interference strength is subject to the object that produced the interference and the distance between the object and the compass or device. So let's get started on how to solve the orientation issue. How to activate the orientation. If your orientation is disabled or it looks like this after the aircraft had sufficient satellite connection, follow this step. This can be done anytime before or during the flight by using only your mobile phone. Make sure the main location service or GPS of your mobile phone is turned on. You can select the notification panel or drop down menu to activate the main location or GPS service. Or you can go to settings, security and privacy, location access, turn it on. This second step will normally be prompted by DJI Fly apps when you open up the app. But just in case that somehow you accidentally bypass it, you can double check by going into settings, apps, apps, DJI Fly, Permission, turn on the location or GPS. After you have activated the main location or GPS service, connect everything and you will probably see this, which is normal as the above red line is for the aircraft compass and GPS. Even when the main location or GPS of your phone turn off, you will still see this indicator before a sufficient satellite connection established with the aircraft. After the aircraft established sufficient satellite connection, the more the merrier, which may take a while depending on your surrounding. You will then complete the orientation display looks like this. Accuracy of orientation. Before we go into this, it's best to distance the phone and remote control with the aircraft about 10 feet or more away in order to really know if it is accurate or not. A minor deviation in close distance I think is fine and should become minimal when you are flying further away as long as it is pointing at the correct direction, not to the left or right or behind you. Now this one might get a little bit confusing and I will try to make it look like learning 1 plus 2 plus 3. Your mobile phone compass might not be calibrated properly at that particular spot you are standing or sitting, most probably due to the difference in magnetic field everywhere or every step you took. Even the height between your phone and the ground on the same spot might have a different magnetic field value. I will give an example to show the difference in magnetic field value versus compass in a simple way. By no means it is accurate or even represent reality. Example that you stand still and calibrated your phone compass at the magnetic field value of 40 microteslas is shown north 
you take a step forward, the compass reacts to 80 microteslas and cause 20 degree offset to northeast, which is still fine. And another step forward with 120 microteslas. If you then offset another 20 degree and now the compass is showing close to northeast. So if you want to fix this and accurate it, you can hold your remote or phone that was already mounted on the remote control with the motion like how you calibrate your phone compass without the need of opening the compass app. Or for a faster way, you may open up the compass app and do the calibration there even without the compass asking it to calibrate. But make sure to know the motion that your compass require because as I know, there are a few different motions that can calibrate the compass and my phone will only calibrate the compass on one particular motion. I will also provide the way of how to know your compass calibration motion later. It might take some time to calibrate the phone compass. However, if you choose to calibrate without connected to the remote control because it is troublesome, you still can do that provided you do not have the next problem. Aside from the earth magnetic field, other magnetic interference objects including magnet, steel, and battery that can be found with the remote control certainly cause interference and affect your phone compass reading if it is placed too close to each other. Solution. If your current phone compass is located somewhere here, unfortunately, there are still some options to get it soft. Calibrate it every time. Calibrate it every time after you mount your phone into the remote control holder. And if you are calibrating at 200 microteslas magnetic field, the compass will still show the true direction at 200 microteslas. But once you remove your phone from the remote control and the magnetic field reduced to 50 microteslas, your compass will most probably off and need calibration again. It is recommended to stand at a particular spot without moving if using this method as the phone compass was already affected by higher magnetic interference from the remote control. So if you move around and there's another strong interference coming from the ground, it will then again mess with your current calibrated phone compass and may require calibration again. Longer RC cable. Get a longer cable so you can mount your phone into the remote control holder further away to reduce and probably not affected by the magnetic interference from the remote control as the interference range is quite short. Anyway, P10 is fine even if you mount it in closely to the remote control because the phone magnetic sensor is located at the other end near the volume side button. Phone extension holder or bracket. Get an extension holder or bracket for the remote control so your phone will be even further away from the interference area. Replace your phone. Change to another phone that has magnetic sensor at the other end like the P10. But don't think this one is necessary unless you are getting a dedicated phone just for flying and you want that orientation to work. You might need to find out where is the magnetic sensor of the phone. I will show you how in a while. Or just ignore it and use the middle size map instead but the map will be quite difficult to judge and adjust the remote control antenna direction accordingly for a better signal between the remote control and the aircraft. If the aircraft is far away or if the fly path is not straight but everywhere randomly, you will need to use the live feed image and some sensors to approximately adjust the remote control antenna direction. How to know your phone compass or magnetometer location and motion. Personally, I've started to like this compass app as it has the magnetic field measurement feature included. You can download this app or any other magnetometer or compass app you like that can at least detect the magnetic field in value. Then use a small object like magnet, battery, that is not too strong to move around your phone with a few centimeter away. Once you saw the interference value increase significantly, that would be the location of your phone magnetometer or compass. Open up your phone original compass app and put the magnet closer to the phone at that location until it asks for calibration so then you will get the motion needed for the calibration. There are some other settings that potentially related but may or may not help as for my case it's fairly straightforward that it only requires the phone location or GPS service and a calibrated compass to work accurately. Do let me know by commenting below if this video solution doesn't work. I will try to make another video with other related settings to be checked. Maybe that setting is needed in other operating system or phone. Again, sincerely hope this video will help to solve the orientation problem. See you again on my next video.